Nicky Hawkins outside the bowling West Ham fan TV here with a regular Dom Dom. What do you think of that, mate? Uh, frustrating, same same old every week, uh, dominate the game, uh, but we haven't come away with three points, and I hate to say it, it's to sound just like Sam Allardyce, but we didn't take our chances. Right. <laughs> Did you not think it was a bit... Uh, I was entertained in that game, Dom, you know what I mean? I was an entertaining nil-nil, but as you say, we didn't take our chance. Yeah, for a nil-nil it was entertaining, and I can't come away too disappointed, because Stoke City actually had a few kid cut chances themselves. Mm. And at the same time, we were lucky not to lose, but we were also unlucky not to win. So it's a bit 50-50, um, really. Eh? I think that's the chances you take, though, isn't it? When you, when, when you want an entertaining brand of football, I think that's what you've got to sacrifice. What do you think of Antonio today? I thought it was fantastic, and I was Bit disappointed to see him get taken off. Um, it was due a start. I um, mean, it's, it's time to shine with the players that are injured. He's coming. He looks very lively. He's strong. He's quick. He's creative. But we didn't have the quality up front today to uh, get a goal, which is a shame. So, what do you think the answer is? Do, do, do you put Valencia back up top? Do you know you start that sort of combination? Him and Carroll? Not yet. He's not fit enough. He, uh, he went down, didn't he, for a bit, and it yeah. took him a while to get up. And he wasn't quick as he usually is. So you don't rush players back because you know what's going to happen. They're just going to go injured again, aren't they? You look very glass half, half empty, to Dom, rather than glass half full. You know, got another clean sheet, which is good. You know, we still had the chances to win the game like last week. You know what I mean? But putting the ball in the back and letting this well, say. At the same time, Stoke themselves had chances, yeah. so it could have gone either way. I think, at the end of the day, an nil is a fair result, and it's difficult to win games when you've got players like Payet, Lanzini, Sacco, three most creative players that are injured. But it's, it's frustrating without them, because on another day, if we had them three, we most likely would have won, just yeah. like last week and the week before. So what about, uh, the, they've said about changing the training ground this week to sort of stop the injuries and that. Is that what's going on? What's, what's going on with the injuries? So we just seem to be picking them up like, like an episode of Casualty. Don't we? It's just typical West Ham. <laughs> we, every year we get our annual Christmas injury plague and it ruins my Christmas. I'm sick of it. <laughs> but um, if we aren't moved training grounds to prevent injury, then so be it. It's got to be done. Yeah, yeah. We've got to have a fully fit squad to uh, compete and be successful. So you've got to take that, haven't you? Next week, what do you, what do you fancy, Swansea? If they get any manager, we're going to lose. <laughs> happens every week. Everham Grant. Well, then we've got a win, haven't we? <laughs> we, we pay back him, useless. Yeah. Uh, Swansea, was, was it one all? Swansea saw they score in the last minute, yeah, so I think they did, yeah. well, they'd be on a high, wouldn't they? It'd be a difficult game. Uh, probably end up nil nil again. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Dom, mate. Thanks. See you up there.